Alright guys, this is DocM with another Minecraft video and today guys I want to do a quick tutorial because I see a lot of requests on my world tour how my elevator setup works. It seems that since the boats changed again in update 1.0.0 they became really really brittle, they can break really easy, they're basically like made of eggshells, not wood balsa wood or whatever so you have to be kind of careful to handle your boats um, yeah, in elevator setups or in the eats road or whatever and today I want to show you the principle behind my elevator setup so right in front of me you can see that elevator I made it a few blocks high you can of course have it as high as you want um, going basically from bedrock to sky limit or sky box also, there would be a possibility for multi-floor selection, um, the way I use it in my world tour, um, but we will talk about that um, towards the end of the video. So let's first see the thing in action. So uh, you have to imagine here would be the, your floor of your, your area you want to start. Oops. So right here, so you walk up to your elevator, Ah, you see your boat, you want to go up, just right click on it, jump in, press the button here to activate the setup, you go through, travel up, and then over and you get shut out. And you arrive at your yeah destination floor. You're up um, and you could walk out now. To send the boat back and set the elevator back to default, you just walk over, you exit here, and the piston pushes it out and the boat lands back on the platform and is ready for another use. Um, the design I use here for the elevator itself, that is a, a simple elevator, it's not a fast transport elevator. Uh, in my world tour I have a fast transport elevator that is a bit more complicated to set up, but I did a tutorial for the basic setup before, so um, you can check that out and it will of course provide um, a video a link in the description you can check it out it's the fast boat elevator you know it has some special water flow so it goes up quicker but this is the basic principle um, before we build it two things first of all if you accelerate boats you can see it here don't go longer than three blocks one two three because after that um, if you crash into walls um, there's a high chance your boat will break you can see the elevator is too wide instead of one. With the glass pans or panes, you could use a one by one water stream as well or a water column. But as boats are brittle, um, we have some kind of a safety cushion here. You know, the boat is accelerated and then gets in here, and then we have a too wide space. The, that makes the elevator a bit less compact, but. Um, yeah, it's 100% fail proof then because if you have it one wide in rare cases I saw it happening when I was riding in with my boat um, it basically broke so like this it's, it's safe you're in here go up fly over and that's basically it we should quickly test it in survival you can do that um, I'm using one of the new snapshots um, it's week 49 and you can press B to change your game modes. This is my test world here where I do a lot of testing. And you can see if you land on here, you take some damage. But normally you would not go down like that, right? So, you get in here, activate the boat elevator. And we are, of course, not drowning in here. And we land so it works. If you're up here, normally the way I do it, you know, if I want to go up and down between floors, I always have quick drops. Quick drops, that is a really basic design in Minecraft. Um, you have water suspended about two or three blocks above air and then you just jump through. So somewhere you just could have an opening like this, you know, and below that a water break. So you can always get down and up and down safe. If you don't know what a water break is, just search it up on, on Google. It's one of the basic designs in Minecraft. You should really know it's the fastest way to go from top to down by just dropping. Okay, so this is the principle behind the elevator and 
we should build one now. Okay guys, to build an elevator like that, we start off with a 3 by 9 base area. You can see it here. 1, 2, 3 by 9. Um, right there, at the start, we put down 3 blocks and one normal piston. That is the piston that will push our boat off. On top of the piston, put down another block and the whole thing is powered already, the button. So now it's basically time and you could build it up if you want. And here you don't have to but it looks kind of better. It's time to throw in our um, glass. You could extend the platform to save on some glass here and then glass paints all the way around once just like so and then a second level here and now it depends on which side you want to enter your elevator if you want to do it from here then you leave open a bit on that side but we don't gonna do an exact le replica of the one we made so our entrance will be on this side here so just go around once with your glass paint it's always a bit tedious to play this at them. I hate it. Uh, if I play legit, I basically what I do, I stand on the area I want to glass in and then I just go backwards like this. You can aim fairly well from like this. So um, let's put another one down and have a small entrance here. That should be enough. You have to imagine here would uh, be your floor, for example, you know. Uh, that is not part of the actual design, but the floor. So you could enter from here. And the boat would be sitting there and be pushed off. Now it's basically time to make our water streams down here. At the um, demonstration setup I used a pressure plate but I want to go with uh, double fence gates here. Keep in mind we need a uh, two wide gap for the water so one, two and place down a block and on that one your first fence gate. Remove it again, put down another fence gate and open it up so you can drive through. Throw in your water and there you go, this is basically the startup setup. If we have a boat on here right now, easily place one, that is another advantage of this elevator, easy to load. You want to send it off, yep, we would be here and riding up. Sweet, let's break this boat and break the whole elevator and now we need to build up. Um, you could go as high as you want, let's go for a few blocks. So just make a ring like this around the whole thing. Keep in mind to encase your two wide gap. Be careful a bit so you don't close your fence gates. So build from the sides and now it's done. You got that clearance, you need a too high clearance to be able to easily enter your elevator and now to extend it up, you simply um, yeah, put more of those rings on there. So I'm going to quickly do that and make it a bit higher and then we'll continue with the water. Alright, I extended the elevator a bit. You can see it a few blocks up. It's a bit... Oh, is it the same? It doesn't matter. You could make it higher, lower, whatever you want. And now it's basically time to fill in the water. And if you do that for elevators, for mop, elevators as well, we need source blocks all the way. So make sure to fill in two source blocks all the way up. It cannot flow, it must be source blocks. Okay, come on, let me fill it in. There we go. Source blocks all the way up. Too wide. It's the easiest if you place it directly here on the windows. If you do it legitly, of course, you need an infinite water well. What you could also try is fill it in with dirt and have one layer of water empty and then dig down one layer after the other and normally f source blocks should form. So you could basically, basically do it with two source blocks on top and then always remove one dirt, next dirt. And if there's only... yeah one block of air beneath and then floor a source block will form so you could you don't have to do it like this but it's quicker and creative if I do it like this so this is the the setup now see the boat will go up now and not break we're in the boat pushing the button we want to go up boat arrives 
and will never break if you do it like this. And we already make it to the top. Now, <laughs> double click towards that. Now we basically uh, need our exit system. Um, for the exit system, we, we are using some EATS principles. Uh, actually, um, to do that, whoops, we need to build up one more layer. This is our yeah, last layer. If the elevator would stop on this level, okay. So put our glass down all the way around. And as I always say, uh, with those glass panes, I don't like to build with them very much because it's very tedious to aim exactly and all that. But it's a bit more compact. Okay, one too much. All right, and now we need to extend our platform a little bit. You could use the glass panes. I'm going to use a full glass block or whatever. It's up to you. But we need to do that and also extend our glass panes a bit. And that is one block and another one. So two blocks out. So now when I said we are using each road principles, well, we're doing that with our stopper blocks here. You need at least two here. That should do, but I wanted to have a symmetrical look, so I posted down two. If the boat comes up, it will get stuck at the glass and be shut out, and that makes the boat, you know, clear this huge gap. It's one, two, three, three and a half blocks. The boat jumps and perfectly lands on here, na touching nothing, and therefore, therefore, doesn't break. All right. So fence gate. We need to extend that thing for one block, open it up, and then break the block again. Now the fence gate is in, and we should place our water. Let me quickly remove these glass blocks again, and now you see a little problem. We need one source block. We need four blocks of acceleration. You can see it. One, two, three, four. If I put water down here, obviously it will break off. It will go down. So we have to use a, an old trick you know, to extend the water a bit. So basically you go one block higher, like so. Um, put water in there, remove it again, and by this the water stream gets extended. And now, put your glass blocks back on. You have to have two here you, um, to keep the boat down so it's accelerated uh, long enough. If you would want to have multi-floor selection, um, you would do it like that. You would have two blocks here, just like so. And then you would have, um, for example, a trap door. Put it in here, you know. And now, if the boat comes up, it will be stopped. And if you want to, you know, let the boat keep on going, you would open up your um, hatch gates. It might need some niftiness, but it should work like this. If you just have that one trapdoor holding the boat down, and we're gonna test ride it. It's actually a test here, and it should work. Let's jump in. The trap door will stop us, you will see it. We go up and you're sitting in the elevator right like this right now. When you go to the top you will be turned. See? So we made it quite some distance here. So if you would want to go up more, yeah well, then you will just extend the elevator here, you know. Let the water pillar going. It will will not be able to flow out because you have your yeah, another um, fence gate here, and you keep on going. Then you could have another one of those trapdoor setups, have another floor and another floor, and below you could control it with levers or a selection board. So, fairly simple to do. Um, so, we'll leave it with the trapdoor now. Um, should work anyways. Now it's time to make our exit platform. Let me quickly get some more wool to do that. And what we do, as you see here, we have a three wide gap. One, two, three. Oops, three. And that gap we can clear. So basically what we should do to make it easy, 
there you go and this is the block where our boat will always land on and from there we make our exit mechanism boat in there whoop should not cl right click with a boat in my hand <laughs> shove me off let's get on top let's jump over to that block whoop yeah we made it and if you look we will always land like that you see that small gap here and that small gap is actually what saves our boats from breaking now all we need is just a way to shove it off what I used but I'm pretty sure you could think of alternatives you could maybe even make this block disappear you know all kinds of things you could do my solution was and I uh, just made it because I had it like something like that in my world to before and I wanted to keep the basic design so let's quickly get rid of this boat put down stairs here so you can easily walk out of the boat Whoop. Excuse me. <laughs> and a sticky piston like so now you need to activate the sticky piston what I did and let's have a little platform here this this would be your arrival floor I did put down a half slab on the thing to cover it up a bit don't see it anymore and then um, I had a pressure plate just like this you can put it down and if you walk off the piston activates and pushes the boat off so if you have the boat here basically sitting in it you want to get Oops, I have to stop the flying, so you get out, walk off, and never think about your boat. It's already back in starting position down there. And then you have your quick drop, and your elevator would be ready again. So now we made our setup. Let's see it one more time. Oh, I clicked again with the boat. <laughs> Let's see it one more time. We're going up. Oh yeah, what did just happen? Something weird happened. Was there tr stuff in here? Okay. So, we go up, fly over, ready. And we can do that over and over again. Boat never breaks, elevator never fails. Yeah, this is how you do it at the moment. Hopefully, um, boats, you know, will get changed, will be less, um, yeah, annoying. Um, what I had here, this, if you wonder what that button is, I wanted to have like a manual override, so to speak. You could put a button down here, and if you uh, now I don't want to go up, I want to go quickly down. Then you just press here. But the thing is, if you are in um, survival mode, you will take damage, small damage from that drop, not too much, maybe half a heart or something. You could quickly test it. So let's go to. Survival. Let's see how much damage we take from that drop. And that basically concludes the elevator tutorial for today. I hope you liked it. That's it for today. I'm out. Bye.